Welkom terug. Terwijl sommige boks als een gewelddadige sport beskou, is dit technisch, uitdagend en baie goeie oefening, fysiek en psychisch. Benevens die fysieke voordele van boks, help het ook met psychische gezondheid. Vandaag kan Jan Alleman ook in die kruid klim. Wit boorkie box of white collar boxing is uiters gewild onder middelklas Zuid-Afrikaners en mense stroom na clubs wat het aanbiedt. Ek het gaan inloer by Steven Castle, eienaar van Tabox in Johannesburg. Dit is die oudste boxclub in die land. Steven is die man wat wit boorkie box na Zuid-Afrika gebring het. Steven, so this gym has an illustrious history. Is it the longest running gym in Johannesburg or South Africa? Longest running gym. Uh, there, there have been gyms that have that have been around, but not in the same place and have changed ownership in that. This is next year, June is 24 years in the same spot. I'm not sure how I've done it, but I'm still here 24 years later, yeah. There are many different categories to describe boxing. Yeah. Um, what are they? Okay, so fitness boxing obviously is one everybody is now doing. Um, it's, uh, that's sort of just coming in and hitting the bag, hitting pads, with what seems to be the trend at the moment. And then of course you got the, the sort of amateur boxing, known as amateur now called open boxing, which is the, the Olympic style boxing. And, and then you got professional boxing. And then since those two were the most all the recognized forms of boxing, we now have got the, the birth of white collar, which happened 10 years ago. We now have the birth of master box, which is also happening now and also recognized. So there's a lot, boxing's had a big growth uh, in terms of availability to people, which it never had before. So now everybody can have a, have a piece of it, yeah. Steven's rechterhand and mede africhter Willy Oberholzer, a self boxer wat onlangs die sport professioneel begin beoefen het. Tussen deer sy beroep as professionele bokser, help hy wit boorkie boksers slijp. So jy het een ongelooflike blik op die uh, landskap van boks, want jy was nou by al hierdie verskillende kategorie betrokken. Mm. Maar vertel my dan nou die merite van white collar boxing vir enige iemand. Dit is een baie, een baie goeie, ek wil sê, middelpunt vir allemaal. Soos jy kan, jy kan hee byvoorbeeld die oukies wat glad nie, hulle is nie enthousiast nie, hulle wil net al gevoel hee. Of jy krij oukies wat miskien hulle wil fight, hulle kom nog van ander sport af, soos jiu-jitsu, dan wil hulle fight, maar hulle is glad nie, boxing experience nie. So jy kan daar, so dit is een goeie stepping stone vir mense wat ook van amateurs af na professioneel toe wil gaan, of ek kan iemand wees vir een first timer, of iemand wat ook uh, jylle white collar record wil opbou, mm. en dan dit verder vat. So dit is, dat is definitief, dit is definitief, hoe kan ek sê, um, iets vir allemaal. White collar boxing is the man in the street. A person has never had, uh, well, supposedly never had any sort of experience in boxing before. So never did, never did the amateur, never did the professional route discovers boxing through fitness boxing and wants to find out where and how and test himself without sort of in the sparring routine. So sparring basically would be uh, somebody you know practicing your moves, practicing what you know. White collar, we take it to the a step further where you go up against somebody you don't know. It's always the thing like against somebody you don't know is always harder because mm. you don't know what they're going to bring and how they fight. Where, when in the gym, you're always with the same people training, you get to know each other. Now you get to experience that unknown, get in the ring, come to the ring. I mean, that's one of the biggest things with white collar. Why that is one of the sort of prizes of it is that for that moment you come to the ring, it's your song playing, everyone's watching you, eyes are on you, you are the, the, the center of attention, and then you got to get in there and perform. And that, that, whole, that whole sort of feeling is what keeps people coming back to white collar. There's no winners and no losers. They just want to have that feeling of being the, the spotlight, having the spotlight on them. And that's, I think, what the big draw card is as well. Honor that two scouts win gewoonlik wit boorkie box aan de bij. Vrienden en familie van die boxers, kom kyk hoe hulle dit teen mekaar uitspook. Zunaid Khan en Adam Brook is twee lede van Top Box, wat onlangs hulle eerste gevechte box het. So Zunaid, when you, when you started here, yes. it was only for fitness, and little did you think ever that you were going to land in the ring. It was purely for fitness. I, had, I still have no ambitions of ever becoming a professional fighter. It's purely for fun and it got to a point where I had to test myself against somebody and I was egged on by uh, my coach. Tell us about that night in August, the first fight. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. You get butterflies in your tummy the whole day, uh, building up to the fight. We don't know our fighters. We sort of see a picture of them a week before and that's a headshot. So you don't, you don't know how tall he is, you don't know how short he is. In any case, uh, get dressed, walk on to the ring, 
face off with this big Afrikaans boy from Pretoria. <laughs> He's probably a head taller than me. Uh, look around, see my family going crazy, see my friends, my uh, employees jumping up and down. And yeah, that was probably the best feeling ever. And then it was game one. You said that you know, it's a friend of yours. Mm. Did you become friends in the club? Yeah, so we met at the club. Uh, I was Zinaid's ring man for his fight and he was mine. Uh, and then we sparred together every Saturday. So, you know, I, I thought, well, if Zinaid can hit me and he hits pretty damn hard, then I should be okay for my fight because I doubt the guy I was fighting could hit as hard as Zinaid. So, and it proved to be right. It was, it was okay. You're an engineer and now you box. How does that work? By trade, I'm an engineer. I'm currently the chief technical officer of a company called PCS Global. We deal with high pressure clients which put me in high pressure situations and I find comfort in boxing, which it teaches me how to deal with those situations on another level. Not necessarily meaning that I need to beat up my client. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it allows me to take a step back, find some space in an uncomfortable situation and respond accordingly. I mean, I work in, in corporate um, and a lot dealing with people. A couple of times I had to go into the office with a black eye. <laughs> But it was never sore. Um, what I really found was amazing. It was, it's quite liberating getting punched. You know, growing up and, and being bullied, I was always in fear of everything. And in boxing, you know, getting punched, it was liberating to say, OK, I can get punched and I can take it and I can take it again. So come on, you, you can give me your best shot and I'm still here. Your passion is quite contagious. It makes me think immediately of the, the term sweet science. Definitely the sweet science. What is it? The sweet science, the general consensus is two stupid people jumping, trying to hit each other. It's like dumb, two dumb guys trying to smash each other. It, boxing is completely not that. And if you spend the time learning the, the science of boxing, I can say that, you get to understand that there's so much to it, from how to throw the punch, how to move, why are you doing it. The art of war, it's really, big, it's the art of war. Um, I think in your opponent, um, I've always called it, and I've said it many times, I've called it, uh, extreme chess. You gotta, you gotta make moves. You gotta see. You try this and what he does, and put the rookie there and take him with the queen. And that's what you do in boxing. It's a, it's a, there's a lot that goes into it. Maar kijk zo zijn jachter was hij prooi jacht en de eilanker. Kijk hoe rek zij kop. Nee, hij het gebied. Toen hij daar verblufstrepen was de ene van die gevecht.